I'm Mr. B, your instructor for today. So today we are going to talk about something that has been more and more influential in air conditioning, and that is the addition to aftermarket sealants. Okay, so sealants are sometimes a godsend for a customer and sometimes a real headache for a shop owner. And uh, we see a lot of times sealants are now being added to almost our all of the uh, R134A products that you can buy over the counter at AutoZone and things like that. So um, what sealants do for the most part is they interact with the humidity and the air to seal up very, very small uh, imperfections in our AC system and uh, cause the R134A not to leak out. What we're starting to see is customers are just filling their systems more and more with these sealants and when they finally get fed up with spending so much money with putting these sealants into their cars and these uh, cans and cans of 134A, which are no good for anybody, uh, we, we end up seeing them bring them to the shop and then we prepare the vehicle uh, to, to pull down the, the system of the vehicle and that sealant gets sucked into our recovery machines. Now, I don't know if you've priced recovery machines lately or compressors or, or parts for the, you know, the valves and the machines, but they aren't cheap. Most of the machines start out anywhere from five to seven thousand dollars. So we need to really make sure that the cars that we're servicing, we go ahead and flush all the sealants out before we start putting our machines on them and drawing them down and drawing that sealant into the machine. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This fire extinguisher size can of 134A. You'll normally get these forty, fifty dollars or so from AutoZone, and a lot of customers believe that something like this can save them a trip to us where we're going to rip them off and charge them all the money in the world to fix your AC problem, right? So, this uh, is called Easy Chill. It comes with a little plastic gauge that I'm sure is just 100% accurate. It literally looks like a fire extinguisher. And uh, so, reading on here it says, with leak sealer, okay? So, this is what your customers are with, with especially with older vehicles, and maybe somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of money, this is what they're using to not come to you. So if they have a large leak that this leak sealer isn't going to take care of, then they're just, this is just flowing out of the car and eventually they're going to have to bring it to you for a proper leak diagnostic and repair. So when you get the vehicle, you're going to have this vehicle that is just sopped full of this leak sealant. First thing you're going to do is uh, pull a vacuum or maybe pull off the rest of this can out of the um, machine and that sealant is going to get into your machine and it's going to clog it up and cause issues with the valves, maybe even the compressor will die. Uh, I'm pretty sure the last machine that we had that was um, that had gone downhill was because of that sealant. So I'm going to show you, they make test kits for these and I have one and I'm going to show you how to probably test uh, a vehicle for sealant. So I have a car here, it's a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta, I don't have any reason to believe it has any um, sealant in it. However, I don't know. It's got 70,000 miles on it and somebody could have, you know, topped up the refrigerant. Customers don't know. You know, that's why they bring their cars to you. So let's, uh, I'm going to show you how this kit works and then we'll check this vehicle for any sealant that's in it and go from there. Okay, this is the test kit that I got. It is a Neutronics Incorporated Quick Detect AC Sealant Leak Detection Kit. It's part number 7081000510. Okay, so we got this machine a couple of years ago. I've used it a few times. I've showed the um, students how to use it as well. So I'm going to open up this kit. I already have it kind of pre-prepared and ready to go. But this kit has a lot of components in it. And of course, it has an instruction booklet as well. But I'm going to show you how to use this machine, show you how to use it quickly. So you have your test hose here, you have this brass piece here. This right here will go, excuse me, oop, bump the camera. This will go on the high side, uh, this test on the high side, and you will have your sensing bulb, okay? So you will have to replace this sensing bulb if it clogs up, but you have a small orifice in there, it's very hard to see, especially with the camera. And this orifice has a little bit of material on it and this goes in one way so the first thing we have to do is we have to put a little water in this orifice because like I said the sealant is going to react with water 
So they give you this little syringe and you just use tap water. And this is what you use to fill this up with. I'm gonna do that here in a second. I'm gonna show you the other pieces here. This is your flow meter, okay? So how this works is you have a little uh, ball bearing in there, a little BB in there. And the refrigerant will flow through here and you will have a meter reading here. And so you set this rubber band to whatever it's reading at. And then if this falls, that means that there's sealant in the system and it's trying to stop up the little hole that's in here, okay? So it's treating this as a refrigerant leak and it's trying to stop it up. Now, as it stops up, this ball will fall down, down, down. It may even stop moving completely. And if it does, that means you have sealant in the system. You need to break the system down, flush the system out with a proper AC flush and start from there, start your leak testing from there. So you also have another adapter here for R12. It does not have a, this kit is not available yet for your 1234YF, but I don't really think customers are gonna be filling their car up with 1234YF, especially with the section 609 requirements and everything that we have now. So I'm gonna put this together, I'm gonna show you how this works. So first thing we have to do is we have to inject just a little bit of water in each side of this. They give you a little syringe here and you just use tap water. And you just give it a shake. They want you to shake out the excess and it just gets the inside, I think it's got like a little sponge in there and it gets a little moist. And so now we are going to, this is a little guard that they use here. And we're gonna put this hose on like so. We're gonna put this guard on, and this is, I guess, is just to keep hot refrigerant from spraying you. And we're gonna put this on right here. And that goes over there, just to keep any refrigerant from coming up and bothering this. And then all we have to do is add our flow meter. Now, our flow meter has to be vertical, okay? So if it's laying on its side or anything like that, you can't just lay it down. That's why they give you this little hook. You're supposed to hook it to the hood latch or somewhere to where you can watch the little ball in there move and that will give you the flow. So this will hook on the vehicle high side, okay? So the instructions tell you to go ahead and run the vehicle on high AC for about two or three minutes and that's to get everything circulating in the system. And then we test this while the vehicle is off and nothing is uh, running. So you don't want that high, you know, all that high side pressure uh, that the high side will generate while the AC is running. So. Uh, I'm going to move the camera over to the car. I'm going to hook this up to the car. Again, this goes on the high side. And then I'm going to try to zoom the camera in on the flow meter and kind of show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, I have this hooked up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the high side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the flow meter up closer to the camera to where you can see. So what we're looking for is car off. We're looking for after about three minutes, we want to see just about the same flow rate. If the flow rate drops below 30% of where it was, then we have sealant in the system and we need to break the system down and flush it out. Maybe even replace some components before we hook our machinery up to it. So let me hook this uh, up here. Okay, have it hooked up and you can see the ball is about, I'm going to put it right here, I'm going to start the clock and Okay, just fast forwarded through all that and you see right here it's been enough time and I'm still a little bit over two. As you can see that ball, it hasn't really moved anything. 
hasn't really moved yet so uh, I'm saying that this car is clean and free of any sealant uh, if you if this would have dropped I just moved that black thing out of the way but if this would have dropped down 30% or more then you would have known that you would have had sealant in the car and you knew what to do from there okay well that wraps it up for this lesson here and again thanks for watching my video if you got anything from it please hit the like and subscribe button so i can continue to make these videos for you guys and if you have any questions please just hit the comments and i will get to them as soon as possible i will try to find the link to the elite test kit that i have and i'll post it in the video description if possible uh, again if you have any other questions leave them in the comments and thank you for tuning in